Hello and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker and today we are going to a small church that is hidden from sight called Clodagh Church uh, near Inishtig in Kilkenny. Toaster is with me. Wave hello Toaster. And you see I just got you waving because it's 360 camera sees everything which is exciting. Um, we're starting this video from Thomastown because I didn't want to show you the same roads again but it is also really cool here and at some point maybe even on the way back me and Toaster are going to probably walk up there and have a look. I don't know what I ever bother showing you though, because cause I mean like that. I like to keep some things hidden from the eye of the viewer. Anyway, yeah, let's get on the road, shall we? So first and foremost, uh, we have to get out to Inishti, which is, is, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful places in the world, let alone Ireland. Uh, Thomastown is not bad either, in fairness, it's also quite pretty. Um, but definitely Inishti is uh, absolutely stunning. So I do have the 360 camera as well mounted a little bit differently today so I'm just gonna have to be careful of that uh, on what is of course narrow roads again oh look it's a it's a new type of creature two people on one bicycle kind of like me and toaster how strange <laughs> that is the weirdest thing I've ever seen I've never I've never seen one of those that wasn't being used for a stag or you know like a something like that odd anyway so this road um, for, from Thomastown out, you've probably seen before if you watch all of the Explorers. If you haven't seen all the Explorers, well, welcome to my Explorers videos. Um, I hope you enjoy them. Anyway, Clodagh Church. So Clodagh Church is um, interesting in the fact that it was one of the, I'm not going to say the only church. Oh look, two cherry blossoms. Oh, they're pretty. They're really pretty. I love cherry blossoms. It's also a really cool one in Ishti. But anyway. Um, it, it was one of the only, because again, I'm not sure is it 100% the only church, but it was one of a few churches, uh, Catholic churches, that avoided the attention of uh, Oliver Cromwell back in the day when he decided to come in and just um, throw his, his weight about and be an absolute dickhead and ruin the place. I know some people probably think Cromwell was great, but uh, yeah, <laughs> if, if, you want, if you want to hear someone wax lyrical about uh, someone who I feel was a bit of a war criminal, uh, probably not the video for you. But anyway, so yes, Clodagh Church was one of the churches, Catholic churches, that avoided the attention of Mr. Cromwell. Um, and it was, it was, the reason for that is because it's actually really hard to spot from, from the road, say. And back in the day, um, the steeple of the church was actually kind of below the rocks on the road too. So when you see it today, what you're going to see is a much more visible church even than it was back then um, and it's not visible now like if you were to go out there and you know just 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 kind of look around for it and didn't know it was there you'd probably not see it until you came back the direction it is visible um, as you come into Inishtig but going out from Inishtig very hard to spot also I feel like you know it would be remiss of me not to mention there is a Lancer in front of us which is class I wonder is it a real Evo or is he just body kitted it? I hope it's a real Evo. Well yeah, so the reason that I want to go out to Cloda as well is not only because obviously of its interesting history and the fact that um, it did dodge the attentions of said person back in the day, also because it's r located in an absolutely beautiful spot. Uh, and it's, it's, it's a church that um, despite its age, and I know I bring you to a lot of ruins, but despite its age it actually has been uh, renovated and upkept quite a lot over the years. You know, it had more work done to it in 2015, and it had more work done to it again in 2017. Um, I think, I believe, some of that was sponsored by our Sisters of Charity or something like that in Dublin. Um, so you know, it's it's good to see it's good to see stuff like that being done. That you know, a, a church that is as old and storied as Cloda um, is being maintained to a, to a good degree. Now, another thing is, uh, we'll talk about is, you know, th this church is, oh, well, hold on, I'll shut up for a second, just look at this. Absolutely, this never, ever, ever fails to impress me. Absolutely stunning. So when something looks that good, you gotta go fast across it. Yeah. I'll pop it into first for this corner. Get that lean on. Oh. To be honest, I'd be happy to let that Lancer go ahead of me. As cool as it is, 
it absolutely stinks. And here we are coming into Inishtig, which as I said, honestly, in my mind is one of the most beautiful places on this planet. Like look, just look at that. It does help that it's a beautiful sunny day. In my opinion, sun makes everything better anyway. Uh, but yeah, unless you're in a desert dying of thirst, it probably doesn't make it better then. But in this case, yes, it does. Absolutely beautiful. Um, but yeah, other things then about Cloda is uh, back in the day when it was also illegal to speak Irish uh, in Ireland, there was a spot just up the road from Cloda that that's where people would have went uh, to, to practice Catholicism um, and also speak, uh, speak Irish as far as I know. Um, which is very interesting because obviously they had their church there and they were told, no, no, you know, you can't use that. You can't use that because bold Catholics and uh, people just kind of did it in secret. And, and genuinely, this is something that, that did happen, by the way, is Catholicism was outlawed here, uh, as was Irish speaking. And people used to uh, do Irish classes and, and teach, teach about Catholicism, uh, basically hidden in bushes. <laughs> obviously, I'm exaggerating a bit there, but yeah. So it was, it was a thing that was not allowed. And now here we are into Inishtig, which is absolutely a beautiful. Huh? A beautiful. That's the hurling pitch down there, which spends a lot of its winter flooded. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I have a video, I've done a video on a place here called Woodstock, Woodstock Gardens, uh, which is just directly up the hill basically. And if you haven't seen that and you want to know more about it, do do go find that video that I did because Woodstock is class. Oh look, a big old har Oh wow, there are a lot of bikes here today. Class. And there is the other cherry blossom tree that I wanted to show you. Absolutely beautiful. If you don't think cherry blossom trees are beautiful, there's probably something wrong with you. I think we're gonna be stuck behind Senor Harley. Look at that though. I hope you can see this because it is absolutely stunning. Just the backdrop of the trees and everything else is just beautiful and you can see i mean like i said before you can see when we get to this location the cloda is at you can absolutely see why people um built a church back in the day like whatever god you believe in just assume this god this church is built for god x because honestly I, I i i irrespective of what god it was dedicated to it doesn't matter to me um, i'm all about the location and the actual architecture and you can completely understand why, back in the day, someone built this church here um, to try to give, you know, a bit of respect to, to, to whatever deity they believed in because the setting for it is beautiful, the view from it is beautiful, and now that it's been built, and it's like this church didn't start off as you're going to see, this has been built onto um, several times throughout the centuries, but the actual site and, and the fact that people came here to, to pray or whatever, it is like several hundred years old, which is absolutely crazy when you think about it. Like hundreds upon hundreds of years old. I think that's I think that's just neat. Now, I know it's it's. I always actually miss it going this way as well, which kind of uh, says a lot. Even even now in in the modern era, when we definitely don't have as many trees anymore, you know, roads have to be cleared back X amount and all that. Uh, not that they are here but it's still actually quite hard to spot it sometimes so it'll be interesting do i i know it's up by a big river bend so i'm sure i will spot it in fairness mr hardy man poked on nice bit i am i am riding easy today as toaster prefers it but like look at that view i mean if if that doesn't uh, wrench on your heart strings a rock just hit me in the knee um, I don't know what will. It's absolutely beautiful. Ah, oh, just I just love these roads, and it's been it's been too long. I don't know how much toaster is enjoying me leaning into corners and whatnot, but I love it.
was a big lump in the road. What? What? Surely that's not safe. <laughs> oh, people are crazy. abandoned buildings. Well, those windows look new though, maybe someone still lives in that section of it. Ise possible. Ah, here we are, here we are, we didn't miss it, close the church. The signpost helps you find it these days. They didn't have the signpost back in the day. Now, Uncle Donkley, you may remove yourself from my motor bicycle. I'm just gonna turn it around to face back up the hill. It's a more safety. Now, so right behind those trees there is a church. It'll help if I put it in gear. Can you spot the church? Can you spot the church? Yeah, it's right there. That's one of the only churches that Cromwell never found. Interesting, no? Oh, the 360, 360 cam barely missed a bug to the lens. <laughs> I'll be back in a sec. So, you have to walk down around this bit here. And you can get into the church then, which is very cool. And there it is. So we'll just go in around and have a little walk. And then scratch it out of Yeah. So toaster is minding the bike for a minute. But this is the area for the church. This is Clodagh Church. And like I said, this has been done up multiple times. So it's while it's not oh look ours. It's not a big church. This was the one that escaped attention. That's why it looks so old. It's why it's you know an, an original structure. It wasn't burnt, it wasn't knocked down, it wasn't attacked, assaulted. They didn't know it was here, which uh, I just think is absolutely badass. There's an old bell tower, which is awesome. And then there's the other gate up there, so... It's just... It's just beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's I love, I love where it's hidden. Like, these trees here... So these trees are really, really old, again, because they weren't burnt or cut down. And these are the same genus, the same family as what can be found up in Woodstock Estate. Um, which is a really old estate as well and that's that's kind of the extent they walk around of the church um like i said a small site not not something that i was trying to bring you to blow you away um i'll throw up the drone in a minute but it's just i just think it's really cool like that is so cool I, i'd love to know exactly how old this is i don't think there's a plaque on it or anything and this is one it's not an issue or anything like that, but look at the trees. Look at like look at the size of those. The boughs. They are huge mungus and ancient. I just think that's so cool. It's so cool that something like that exists uh, still, you know. And it, it's such a it's a pity in a way because it makes me think, you know, if if we didn't have some of our history literally burned to the ground, as Lucky Luke Rides used to always say, um, you know, a lot of our castles and stuff were <laughs> were burnt by the uh by the the uh, the irish burned a lot of them because the english had taken the castles or the english had built the castles and the irish burned them and you know vice versa the english built burnt the castle the irish built which is sad because if that hadn't happened can you imagine what we might have now but anyway um i'll throw up the drone and just show you the little kind of valley that it's in so you can get a sense of how well hidden it was like this road that comes down around here now Imagine back in the day, that would have been tree-lined. There would have been more trees. It wouldn't have been like it is now, which is quite open. Maybe the valley would have been here, the little lee that it's in. But all this stuff, it would have been a lot harder to see it. Because now when you come back down around this hill, you can see it. But it's still, it's still quite well hidden. I just love how old it is. I don't know. It's, I would think for old buildings, and this one is one that is particularly cool and has a cool, cool history. The fact that it escaped attention for that long and stuff, and 
and I'm waffling, I'm waffling. But anyway, look, I'll throw up the drone, show you the surrounding area for the end of the video, and just look at the size of those trees. Just, this area is beautiful. I really like it, and I'm really glad it came out, because it might be a case that I might never come back to this spot again in my life, but I'll always be able to look back on this video. And that's what these kind of explore videos are for as well. If you never make it to Ireland, if you never make it to here, if you never get to see this church, now you can. And that's that's kind of what I'm trying to do. So I really hope you enjoyed it. I know it's not a, a madly impressive place. It's just, I think it's just cool. And I really like the age um, of it. Anyway, look, if you've watched, thank you very much for watching. Please do let me know did you enjoy the video and why down in the comments. Um, as always, a massive thank you to my patrons. Uh, you're just like, I know a lot of you enjoy these explorers videos, which means a huge amount to me. Um, because I love making them and they don't get a huge amount of views so it's just it's nice to know that they are appreciated by some people and until next time thank you again for watching adios So I know you probably can't hear me, this is the this camera's inbuilt 
microphone but this is really cool and it's just down by the edge of the church very very cool eh? anyway there's the old it's an old it's another old stone bridge kid moto there you go another another stone bridge i think it's pretty so is that anyway i'm actually gone now bye bye Outro crew You're gonna have to look at me now because toaster's taken off her helmet, so you're gonna be looking at me in the 360 but If you were to pick one bike For toaster, it's okay. I'll have the 360 turned towards me. She's looking terrified here at me. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking <laughs> So one bike that wasn't the CB 500 you had to pick one bike for toaster that she could go and explores with me on What would it be? Let me know in the comments. Okay. Bye